uh, if I do it again, I'm gonna be real stiff. I ain't trying to be stiff today, you know? <laughs> What up? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Minna. In this video, we are doing something very fantastic. It's very unusual for me. It's going to be the kind of look that I would never do <laughs> in the sense that it's going to be a dark lip. You already saw from the thumbnail. It's a dark lip. I last did a dark lip over a year ago. It's something that I do not do. Mind you, shout out to my nails. You like them? Lime green, a little something different. I put the tutorial on IGTV. These are press on nails. You already know how it goes. Jewelry will be linked below. This is from where I forgot. But yeah, yo. So I'm about to do a look that I never do because I don't like dark lips on me, but I wore this top and the dark hair to help match to it. I don't know, we are gonna see how it goes. But y'all asked me to do it, so here we are. I do take notes on what you request. So if you are excited to give the video a thumbs up, make sure you are subscribed as well. Very, very important. Also join my text community because it's just the place to be. You never know what's gonna pop up. You get early access to things, one-on-one -on -one contact with your girl. It's just a whole vibe. So make sure you join that and let's go. The feature of this video is going to be this Nima Tang liquid matte lipstick with Dose of Colors in the color. Like to see it. Ow. It's a dark color. So when it comes to dark colors, first of all, let me prime my lips. Oh, we've moved on from e.l.f. Cosmetics lip primer. Now, I can't say that you're never gonna see it again because I have one right here, but it's empty. I believe I have one or two more in my drawer, in my stash. It's gonna pop up, but from what I understand, she sold out or discontinued. So we are back with the MAC Cosmetics Prep and Prime Lip. This is so nostalgic, girl. I used to use this every day. It smells the same. Same, Alfie. And let's see. I hope it still gets tacky. I bought five of them, so it, it better do what it used to do 10 years ago. <laughs> okay. Now, let's see. Primer. Listen, I've been killing this Becca Ever Matte Poreless Primer. It don't keep me all the way dry. It don't keep me all the way dry. Like, it's okay. You know, it... It depends on how oily you get. Like I still see my natural oils after a while, but I also just do my best to try to finish products and not be wasteful. So we're gonna use this, okay? I don't plan on doing anything rigorous today, so it's not like I need full horsepower mattification. I keep forgetting to use my Urban Decay. Let me clean my hands first. Before I apply some more, I need to clean all of this other stuff or else it crumbles up on the face. I wanna apply my Urban Decay setting spray before applying my foundation. Do a little bit of that today because why not? I finally tried the black girl sunscreen that y'all been mentioning to me. It's in an IGTV video. Make sure you watch it. I have that on today. And you see how I'm working this into my skin because it was getting a little bit pilly, a little crumbly, but it does work once you work it into the skin, all right? And now I'm gonna spray one layer of the Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Matte Spray. Get my fan as well because I want to dry this down. Give it a good shake, okay? And maybe even a spray first, okay? And then just blot this. I did ask about that. That's the product, so you do need to give it a little pat, okay? I don't know if it's the clay that's inside of it, but that is the product. Alrighty, now I. I'm so nauseated, excuse me. Hi, we're back. Okay, I feel like Fenty 470 is too red on me. I have an idea to fix it. That's gonna come up in another video, so stay tuned for that. I have been enjoying the Lancome Tanti Doll. I wear 555, so wait a see. So I'ma wear that right now. Two pumps on the back of my hand. Should I do three? Let me start off with two. Sometimes I don't need a lot, you know? I'm gonna use the Morphe E63 brush. I know y'all like to know the brushes and stuff. So there you go with that. This is a darker foundation than my skin tone, but I do enjoy that. We already talked about this. Let me take these earrings down. We already talked about this because I'm gonna lighten everything up with my concealer. Now, if you notice with my foundation, I start toward the middle of my cheek, like, well, like right here, <laughs> middle of my face, and then make my way out to the outer edge of my face. And then with that, I'm not taking as much product to the outer part of my face. The key is making sure that you're not building up product along your hairline or on your jawline. So 
apply it more so toward your mouth and then make your way to the outer parts of your face with what's left over. Unless for some reason you have a lot of blemishes toward the outer part of your face and of course you want to layer it but then make sure you're using a full coverage foundation or you are color correcting. Speaking of color correcting, I got a video coming to IGTV soon. It might be up by the time you see this but if not, be on the lookout for it. It'll be there to teach you about color correcting. These two pumps, nope, not enough. I need more for the forehead. So three pumps. Not a lot comes out on one pump. Hmm, okay. But I do like how this matches me and how it looks obviously dark compared to my eyes. But again, that's what we do around here, you know? <laughs> Hi. Now I don't go over the eyelid, you know that, because I'm gonna use an eyeshadow. You know, with a this looks dark. <laughs> This is very dark. <laughs> That's okay. You know, with a dark lip, you could really do a wicked muted eye, maybe even no mascara or no lashes. Like that used to be it back in the day when I worked at MAC, it was like a bold lip. What was it, Rebel? Or there was another one, Cyber. And then we did a very muted eye, no mascara, just like powder and foundation on top of your eye. And then it was your lip that stood out it used, and we, we wore all black. It was just so cute. So I. Could do that, but I do want to give you an eye look, so I don't know. I'm gonna see what I can do. I'm gonna put some more on my nose. For some reason, my nose gets the, the short end of the stick when I apply foundation. I don't know why that be happening, but I'm just blotting on my chin because of my dark spots. But I don't want it to cake on on my chin, obvi. So that's why I'm doing this blotting motion and not really focusing on the hairline because we gonna do what? Contour, okay? All right, and for concealer, I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter and then the color 430. One other thing, right now what I'm doing is taking the, the remaining water out of my beauty sponge. So soak it into the sink, make sure you're squeezing it this way as you're soaking it, and then squeeze it out with your hand, and then take a paper towel or a towel, and then squeeze it again. You wanna make sure that when you squeeze it, there's no water dripping. That is when you have a damp, beauty sponge. If there's water dripping, your sponge is not damp, it's soaked and that's gonna mess up your makeup. I do have something coming your way regarding that to help you better understand. Comment below and let me know if a video on that would actually benefit you or let me know if you already understand and know how to get your beauty sponge to be damp to work in your favor. Let me know. Okay, right now I'm gonna use Prime Beauty Golden Gel Setting Powder. I need to make sure I fix up the inner part of my eye to make sure there's no creasing first. This concealer looks so good. Okay, you gotta make this face. <laughs> psychotic and we're pressing right in the inner corner first okay this looks good so far hold on do a little more okay okay all right yeah it looks good just going back with more i could take some more hold on not too much oh, oh, hold on step off the excess this matches the color of the concealer perfectly what well, would you look at that wow this looks really good come and let me know what you think have you tried this or not this is nice this is reminding me of Fenty beauty what's the one i have is it honey no i don't know it's been a while it might be honey i can't remember the name i gotta dig it out and use it again all righty i am enjoying this all right i do like it i was concerned i thought it was gonna be too dark you know but i do like this and it was sent to me so thank you to prime beauty love that not afraid of it anymore face powder okay this is the covergirl full spectrum in the color deep cool three this is an oldie and a goodie you know i'm using my complex culture plush powder brush taking some of this dusting it down this is a darker color i used to use deep cool too but that would be too light for me right now in the summertime yes wow this is looking really good not focusing on my contour much because i'm going to go over that or i really could just leave it right everything looks really good right now wowzers oh wow i like how this prime beauty what is it golden gal locked in loose powder keep makeup set and locked in place all that i like it and she in new jersey hey how you doing i love to hear about it i love to see it i love to be involved you know <laughs> now i'm going over with what's left over because i'm trying to think do i want to further contour or bronze or do i want to leave it the way that it is what do you think 
I think it looks good. We don't need to. Doing something a little different today because normally I would go over this with a bronzer at least, or I could use Thick Mint Fenty Beauty to deepen the contour, but we're gonna leave it today. We're gonna leave it today, okay? We are gonna do our highlight, the normal Old Faithful Rare Beauty Luminizer in the color Flaunt. Back of the hand warms up the product and just makes it good. Back of the beauty sponge, take the product, and here we go. Lightly tapping because this stuff is pigmented. Look at that, so soft and so beautiful. Okay, above the lip. Now it's getting really more sheer. So taking some more. And right down the middle of the nose. Look at that. Back over here to further blend because what? Why not? Look how soft that is. Ooh, I just love how this liquid luminizer looks. So soft, but there. I didn't go too heavy handed today. Wow, this is more subtle than usual. Usually my liquid luminizer is looking like a little cross eyed, you know? <laughs> Doing a little easy today. Bless his name. I love it. Okay, now I've been doing the same blush and stuff. I swear, I rarely hear I watch a lot of YouTube videos, obviously. Like you're watching me right now. Elf Cosmetics, always spicy. I don't hear people talking a lot about blush. Like has blush taken a back seat? What is going on? <laughs> blush is fantastic. Like look at this. Looks like a bronzer and it looks great. So actually, you know, it's offsetting the contour in a way that I like actually. If I had done the bronzer, it almost blends in in a way, not a bad way, cause I've been doing it, but like, you know, in a way. Now, I could go ahead with a little pink shimmer, but that's gonna clash too much with let me like to see it, like to know it. What did, what did she say? Like to see it, like to know it is a bad word. <laughs> I'm annoyed. Okay, I wanna do a little bit of this Sephora Colorful Shimmer. The color is Hot Flush. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this, a little, and even like wipe it on my, my tissue here and just go on the apples of my cheeks. I wonder if you see that. Comment and let me know if you saw that. Very subtle, very light. Okay, ooh, I got a little more on this side. What do you think? Isn't that beautiful? Mm, 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 mm. Just very lightly. This is a MAC brush. Wow, I've had this for so long, 128. Thank God it has it, like the, the engraving because the numbers, the ink is wiped off. I love that. Just right there, like a little bit. All right, this is a Charlotte Tilbury. Okay, Brow Cheat Micro Precision Brow Pencil in the color Natural Black. Love it. I am in love with this product. Okay, what I am gonna do is take the Urban Decay All Nighter situation. Spray my spoolie and get my brows in line. I showed y'all this on IG, but we gonna do it here too, okay? Just get those babies right up there. Ow, let that dry. But you know what? I don't mind spraying my face right now, actually. Dang, we're going real matte today. Should I spray this? I feel matte right now. I don't know if I wanna do a little extra. Let me wait, cause I don't wanna be too matte, you know? If I do it again, I'm gonna be real stiff. I ain't trying to be stiff today, you know? <laughs> Yo, do y'all watch my videos and be thinking like, is she always like this? I'm really not. This takes a lot of energy to like let all this out. When I finish the video, I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'm like, why? What is that? Like, what was that? Alrighty, this is dry now. So let's do brows. Someone asked me to show them my brows. So let me just show it. I feel like I do, but not always, I suppose. So here we go. Very lightly in the beginning of my face. I don't like the, that to be very stark. When it's too harsh, to me it's hideous. And I'm doing upward strokes to mimic hairs. Very lightly, gotta have patience. I cut off the tail of my brow because that's my prerogative. I love it. It allows me to create the arch that I want. My hair does grow. And what do I do? Shave it. Creating some more hair-like strokes like so. And now I'm gonna connect the top to make the actual brow. Look at her coming together and stuff. I like to see it, okay? So now I'm filling it in right now. And I can make this brow appear as arched as I want it to be. Some days I'd be like, ooh, this arch is 
sitting, baby. Even then some days I'm like, mm, the RJ ain't arching today. What's going on, you know? But today, it is doing what it's supposed to do. I've been doing my brows this way for over five years, so I can do them very quickly because I know what to do. It's just second nature for me. But if you ever were to cut your brows off, this is why and this is what I do. Look at that brow. Isn't that so good? And what I love about this color, the natural black, is it's not too dark, but it's not too light. It's perfect. And before, I used to have to do two different products to get my brow the way I want it to be. Whereas now, it's just one and done, baby. And what I like about this product is that it's refillable. Come on. I already finished one of them. And then all you gotta do is buy the refill, baby, and you put it inside. Like, what is we doing? You know? Like, hello. <laughs> Sustainability. Okay. Alrighty, that was the NYX eyeshadow base. This, I haven't used this thing in a minute. It's real old school. It's the white one. I'm keeping my eyes like this for a reason. Now, I'm gonna do a muted type eye, but I do wanna highlight my eyelid. Let's go over this. This is the BH Cosmetics BFF palette. Never used it before, so let's do that right now. This is the It's My Ray Ray number six brush. First color I'm gonna use is Aloe and Else. The two people that made the palette. I think this was... Okay, it's more brown than I wanted, but I mean, it is brown, so. <laughs> All right, this color is nice. I do need to correct this. I'm taking Scorpio right now. Yeah, I wanna warm this up, you know. Now I am going to have to do the same thing on the other eye, just for uniformity. The key is raise your eyebrows. I'm getting a headache by doing this, by the way. Raise your eyebrows and identify your crease, which is right here, between the brow bone and your eyeball. Then I'm applying this color right here. Be careful not to wipe off your eyebrow or maybe that's just a note for myself because I felt like I was wiping it off a little bit. And now with Scorpio again to mimic the other eye to make it even. Looking down helps so then I can actually relax my forehead because that was giving me quite a headache. <laughs> We're gonna do essentially a soft cut crease if you really think about it. But this is what I'm gonna do today is really the old school way of doing eyeshadow, which some people still do, but cut creases really, I felt like just took over. It just took over the land. All right, I'm gonna take a flat, fluffy brush, just a flat, thick brush. I don't know how you call this, okay? But it's an eyeshadow brush. This is from Coastal Scents, and this is BRCNO3. I could go shimmer, but I want the eye to be muted to go with the bold lip. I'm not gonna do Bon Appetit because that looks very white. It's gonna look white on me. Let me go with Latte. Latte is a little tan. Let's see if that shows mm, a little let me, let me take some more top off the excess look down yeah okay i could do maybe this will work it goes with my shirt uh my sweater doesn't it yeah okay we're gonna do latte hi and so see how i'm applying it toward the inner eye first and then i'm turning as i'm blending it in and get it all over the eyelid as well turning turning so see how it's looks like a cut crease <laughs> but a soft version of it yeah 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 that's what we trying to do baby i was gonna do something different but now i'm gonna do something different you'll see i had a different idea but i'm gonna do something different now that i see this now i want to use a dark color as an eyeliner you know i like to use eyeshadows as eyeliners i like this look right here though i could do black but i don't want to do that my lip gonna be so dark that i want my liner to be dark brown not black there's a color in here called wine and dine which looks beautiful but it's a wine color i want brown so i'm gonna take ootd this looks like a nice deep brown look at that that looks good now I'm gonna use this and make it wider toward the end. That's what I was talking about when I said, I'm gonna do something different. I had something else in mind, but now I wanna do this. So very softly bringing this out and then connecting it at the bottom. Now I'm gonna smudge the top just a little back here. Cleaning off my brush and just smudging this a little bit. I could have left it, but I just felt like smudging it. <laughs> That looks good. Come in and let me know. Let a girl know something. 
what? I like this color, ew. So now I'm putting Scorpio under my eye first and then putting OOTD, which is the dark brown color under my eye. Now for mascara on my top lashes, before eyelashes, obviously. I'm gonna use Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. This is heavy. Whoa, is it the packaging or is it the product? And the applicator is humongous. Let's see, ooh. Okay, you doing something. I used this one time already. I was in a rush when I used it. But you see, because my eyelid color is so light, it's allowing for the eyelashes to really pop. Wow, look at that. It is looking good. I don't know if it be flawless or not. I'm gonna do flawless on the bottom. Flawless is just unmatched thus far. One and done mascara. I'm just saying she did something with that. This does look good though, wow. See how with the mascara I'm going under, you can also go over and then you wanna go left to right as well. I'm not gonna do it too much because I am gonna wear falsies, but if you don't and you just do mascara, do the under, do the over, turn it while you're doing so. Go left and right as well, especially on the tip. Usually these mascaras have fibers in them and when you're doing that, you're getting the fibers off of the wand and onto your eyelashes. All right, and then in the inner eye, I'm torn between Gleam and Blessed. Let me go Blessed because it's lighter. And let's see how this looks. Oh yeah, I'm glad I chose this. This is nice, it's silvery gold. Beautiful, I'm liking this palette, listen. And BH is affordable, okay? So here we go. I don't know how much this one is per se. I'm gonna have links to all the products below as usual. But oh yeah, I like that. Hello and hello. I love me a good inner eye highlight. Listen, you can't take this from me. I don't care if we're in 2072. I'm doing my inner eye highlight, okay? I'm gonna do my eyelashes and mascara on the bottom and we are gonna come back, okay? And now I'm gonna apply the Lawless One and Done Mascara. All right, and now is the time to put on the deep, dark lip. Here we go. This is like to see it. Ooh, I'm a little nervous, but I think it'll look pretty all over the lips. Let's see. Okay, let's talk about positives because although this is unique for me, this does look good. Comment and let me know what you think about it. Oh, let me fluff out my hair. It has dried a little bit more than it was when I first started. So running my fingers through it will give it a little more volume, okay? Yo, like honestly, I like how this looks. It's making my teeth look so white. Yo, look at that. Yo, I like it. I like it as an all over lip. It's not giving me black. It's not giving me brown. It's giving me, I don't know. And it has like an olive undertone to it, but it's beautiful. It's comfortable. It doesn't make my lips feel chapped at all. Because it's so dark, you do want to make sure you apply it inside the lip so that when you close your mouth, you don't see the pink part of your lips. I like this. I want you to comment and let me know if you liked this look, what part of it you liked. Did you like the color all over my lip? Because I didn't like it as a liner, but I do like it all over the lip. I think it looks really, really good. So comment and let me know. Glad you're here. Always glad you watch my videos. Make sure you comment and subscribe. And also, you never know, I pick random giveaway winners in my comments. So go ahead and leave some comments for the kid. Thanks for watching. Bye.